Well, we're gonna go with this right here. Nine by 13. Some of them right there. Frozen taquitos, beef. You can use whatever kind of taquitos you want. You want a chicken flavored one? That's what makes this nice. But we're gonna go with the beef, right? We're gonna go with the whole box. All right, then go ahead and grab yourself a can of red enchilada sauce. And we're gonna, this is a bigger can, right? This is a three ounce can. Wait, three ounce. This is a 19 ounce can. All right, I'm just gonna pour that all over the taquitos like so. All right, once you got that down, you're gonna go, I'm gonna go with a mild pico de gallo, right? But I'm not gonna use all of this because I want a little for later because we're gonna cook some of the pico de gallo like so and get that on there as much as you want. And you knew it was coming, yet you just didn't know when. Today, we're gonna go with this medium uh, pepper jack cheese, right? Now you can go with whatever cheese you want, but I like that little extra with the pepper jack. All right, we're gonna use the whole bag, or the entire bag, eight ounces. And right, we'll get that on there. All right, now we're gonna go with some green chilies, right? We're just gonna grab some of that. Just gonna kind of lightly add a little of that on top of the cheese. All right, once we got that green chilies on there, as you see me doing here, we take a little, a little bit of black sliced up olives, get those on there. All right, we're gonna go 400 degrees, bake Fahrenheit, and uh, we're gonna cook this per package of uh, directions when it comes to the taquitos, so whatever your box says in temperature, and we need the cheese to melt, the sauce to heat up, so I might keep it in there a little bit longer, you just gotta play it by ear, but at least by a package uh, instructions. Okay, not long at all, sauce is bubbling, cheese is melted, taquitos are heated through, right? Preserve some of that pico de gallo, for the top, so I got some heated up pico, and of course for the garnish, get that on there. Then we're gonna go with a little green onion chopped, fresh cilantro, and would you look at that right there. The easiest taquito bake, and it's delicious and fast to make. Now I've had this before, there are similar ones, it's so delicious. If you haven't tried this, you guys really need to get out there and make this. But we can't complete things without a little bit, just a little bit of sour cream. Hoo hoo, right? And then, there it is, that easy. That's the taquito bake. Ha <laughs> ha, mm-hmm, bon appetit. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-mm-mm, like I said, Y'all need to get out there and try this.